Hello all, this is Muhammad. Uh, today it's the 16th of October. It's uh, 3 p.m. here. And uh, I wanna update you about what we have done. We have done a big change, honestly. <laughs> I, I'm not an engineer. So when we made the connections before, uh, it was all all wrong so it means I failed the exam first exam so the connection was coming from the uh, from the swimming pool down here and then there is a pipe goes there which waters all these grow beds each line is 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 11 and this one 11 and this is also 11 and this is 11 but except the last one the last one is 14 because it's uh, we we laid them horizontal whereas these were vertical anyway let's go to business uh, when I made the connections the connection was coming here and it was the pipe coming from the fish pond it was one inch and then uh, supplying all these tanks one 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 inch so we found out that the pressure was very low which caused the siphon not to start so what i did i asked the guys to cancel that and bring one uh, two inches pipe from the fish pond connected to the submersible pump come let me go back comes here and then we put an elbow and then it went all the way there right there where you see the two inches pipe here and down there there is a there is a, a T which there is one pipe goes there to support this line of grow beds and that over there that line yeah that line over there okay zoom out okay so the two pipes comes here and then there's a T here with the reducer the reducer is from uh, two inches to one inch and guess what it is amazing the pressure was just perfect perfect okay so uh now i just i just spread some Ooh, what is this oh there is a bee okay i just uh we just seed some uh, hay for the animals because we cannot sometimes uh, grow them outside because we don't have much rain here the rain comes once a year for 10 minutes or so and then vanish in UAE there is no rain at all okay so uh, my people they uh, they finished of these lines and these and they started in the in the 14 beds laying the the uh, laying the uh, the gravel okay there is how many left one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten left. Hopefully, they will fill it within one or two days. Okay. So, uh, what else? What else we changed? Yeah. You remember from the previous video, the accumulation tank. The accumulation tanks. We had only two at the beginning. First beginning. And then. We had the we had a flood so we thought okay we're gonna add two more and then flood and two more flood and then two more so then now we have eight eight accumulation tanks now we have no 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 floods at all oh the water does not overflow uh everything seems to be fine we we uh, I bought two submersible uh, submersible uh, pumps 
one HP, one HP. I'm thinking, what if, what if, what if uh, we have an overflow? We should always have a plan B. That's why I bought two, just in case. Oh, these grow beds did not fill yet. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six grow beds. They need to uh, to uh, to basically uh, fill. Uh, that's basically it. There is nothing new here, other than what I just said. I will go outside to the uh, fish pond and I will explain something about the 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 return water coming from the accumulation tanks and the venturi system that we made hello again this is a this is the fish pond uh, we have tilapia here and uh, that's the the pipe pumping water from the fish pond to the to the greenhouse and we installed the return it used to be one inch as I said in my previous clip uh, and then we installed the two inches as we found out that the one inch is not not the right choice so after we pumped the water to the to the grow bed we found out that there is small fingers baby fish it goes to the grow it goes to the grow bed oh he turns it on now he turns it on okay so the, the small baby fish we found them in the grow bed so i decided to go to the supermarket and get uh, a trash bin and uh, it has a hole it has a hole here for 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 uh, carrying this uh, uh, trash bin so we closed it with silicon now just uh, nicholas closed it and uh, and then we will put the submersible pump inside and then we will make a hole here two inch hole so that the, the outlet pipe comes from here and i hope this will reduces the the amount of fish going to the uh, grow bed because they are so small and tiny okay And uh, the return, as I said, and the accumulation tank, in the accumulation tanks, we put uh, two, two submersible pumps, pumping the water back to the fish pond. Uh, pond. And here, we installed, at the return, you know, we installed a Venturi. I saw a clip uh, from uh, Rob Bob from Australia greeting to all Aussies uh, uh, and I learned from Rob Bob clip on YouTube how to do the venturi and I made it and it's amazing honestly it pumps a lot of aerations to the fish pond I don't have aeration here at all you see I don't have electric aeration uh, so I installed one here this is 3 inch pipe uh, two inch going inside uh, three inch and uh, we made a hole here in the rope to hold up the pipe the dangling pipe down and uh, it does a great job let me take you to the second one here is the second but this one I installed let me let me pull it here I installed oh, this is two inch up here two inch and this is inch and a half this is inch and uh, sorry this is two inches and this is two inches and a half okay and then we we, we uh, uh, put a rope here to hold this from falling down and this pipe the two inch going down 1.5 meters and then the two and a half inch goes all the way down before it touches the, the bottom by one foot it's 
stays there and it, it pumps water okay now it's on uh, you see the amount of air coming up it's just uh, amazing for free look at this I hope you all enjoyed if you liked the video please you know what you're supposed to do thank you